I'm here in the duck area. And this is what she's been this is what she's been um this is what she's been a quacking about. I knew there was something in here. I see what it is. Yeah, it's a Gila monster. Yes, it was. My first sighting for 2010. I had my video camera with me, but I wanted to get the rest of my gear so I could follow it. But as long as Whoopi and I stood there, he wasn't coming out. Sure enough, when I got back, he was wandering around the pen looking for a way out. It was a little over a foot long and one I'd never seen before. I think it's a male because males have thicker necks than females and their arms and legs look more muscular in proportion to the rest of the body. The markings on his head resemble an H, so I named him Happy. And happy I'm sure he was when he found the duck eggs. Whoopi lays an egg each day, and this day I found it about a foot from her nest. So, I'm sure that's what he was up to. A week earlier I found an empty egg shell, so I knew a Gila monster was around. I set up my night cab and actually caught a glimpse of him in one of the shots. I think this was his entrance exit point, but for some reason he didn't want to leave just yet. And he never hissed at me, and after a while didn't even seem to mind me being there at all. But it was clear he did not feel comfortable leaving while I was in there. So when he crawled back under a creosote bush, I left him alone. It was getting too dark anyway. I waited a few hours and went back out there with a flashlight. Couldn't see him anywhere. So I'm happy, happy, made a clean escape. Hope to see him again someday, but not in my duck pen. Don't worry, Whoopi. It's leaving now. To learn more about all my other incredible Gila monster sightings, just go to my website, www.judykennedy.com, and click on the Nature tab. You'll see my Gila monster page. There you'll find all the details, pictures, and links to the videos about them. And I am so looking forward to seeing more. Back under the bush. <laughs>